Please come in. Thank you for seeing me at such short notice. I saw your billboard and drove right over. The neon pink billboard or the one with glitter on it? The one with the severed arm. That one is very popular. You look just like yourself from the television ads. Imagine that. Where is your neck brace? I did not hurt my neck. Are you a radiologist and did you diagnose yourself? That is not very sound medical practice. If you like we could see your own medical malpractice insurance company. Actually, I'm a sales clerk at Dillard's. I want you to see my orthopedic surgeon. He can determine the extent of your spinal injury and give you a neck brace. A box fell on my foot. Your foot is connected to your spine. I will make an appointment for you to see the doctor next Tuesday. I went to the ER and the doctor put an ace bandage around my foot. The ER is staffed by residents who have slept once since the millennium began. You must see my doctor. He has testified in more trials than there are dandruff flakes on your shoulders. He sounds very experienced. Of course I will see him. You must be extremely traumatized. It was a box of toilet paper. How shocking. The incident must have been traumatizing. It was quilted northern. And your masculinity must be scarred. Do you have a wife? Yes, she was with me at the store. She saw it happen. Good. A witness. And loss of consortium as well. We have not had sex since 1978. You must be compensated. In my best assessment, your sex life will only get worse. Will your wife join the suit as well? I'm not so sure about that. She was driving the forklift that knocked over the box of northern quilted toilet paper. So the manufacturer of the faulty forklift is liable as well. She was trying to run me over. And the store left the keys in the forklift. They created a hazard. It was an attractive nuisance. She hot-wired the forklift in order to run me over. Again, back to the manufacturer. They designed a forklift that is easily hot-wired by an innocent customer. So when the forklift is left out in the open at the store, innocent customers can hot-wire the forklift to run down innocent customers. She is an auto mechanic. Hot-wiring engines is her specialty. The store should not have left the forklift unattended where innocent people could hot-wire it and run over their spouses. She is a victim. You are a victim. Big brother should pay big time. My wife went into a secured area to get the forklift. She disengaged the optical scanning lock on the security door. The consultant who designed the store's security is also at fault. You are a victim of the man. I'm confused. I thought she may be guilty of assault, maybe even attempted murder. Does your wife have a separate estate, an inheritance or a vested trust of some kind? No, she is an auto mechanic. Then enough of trying to blame your wife for this terrible accident. You are obviously both victims of corporate America. You are brainwashed as well. How sad. How truly sad. Do you have any other pains, anxieties, fears, or complaints, real or imagined? I used to wet the bed, and big spiders give me the heebie-jeebies. Is there a possibility your conditions have worsened since the accident? I have dreams about flying toilet paper. I think we have an excellent case. If it weren't for the greed of corporate America, you would be a healthy well-adjusted individual, instead of the sniveling pathetic weenie that is sitting in front of me. Thank you. I have so much confidence in you.